Leslie, thank you for being here today. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to get emotional, I don't know why. Um, I have an eight-year-old granddaughter, and she's asked me, Grandma, how can we have a president who's a bully? You conduct yourself. <laughs> with you why can't we get our president to understand how important that is we are the laughing stock of the world oh, right now because of this, you so how do you reconcile yourself being a one of the leaders of the Republican Party I'm I reconcile it this way that we have we we learned a lesson from King George the third that one person told everybody else what rights you had and didn't have. We had a revolution. We wrote a constitution. So one person didn't run this country. You had executive, legislative, judicial branches. And, uh, and I, I am a member of the, uh, uh, the legislative branch of government. I, I create policy. So what, what I can do, like you just heard me do, when I disagree with the president on trade, I tell him. When I disagree with with his uh, not wanting uh, anybody but chairman to do uh, uh, oversight work, well, that leaves out 480 members of Congress. If you're just going to uh, answer letters of chairman, so we got that changed. And I don't know how how many other things that, that we're involved in. A lot of things on this trade issue that we talk about. So. I'm, I, I'm going to have to deal with the president on policy, and, and uh, I'm not going to, uh, and that's what I have to do because that's my job as your senator. And when I disagree with you, I'm going to tell him I disagree with you. You heard me, what I said, and five other senators heard that conversation. And we please encourage your other Republican senators and congressmen yeah. to do the same thing. And maybe that's the way we'll change it. Yeah.